everybody. This is Jamie from the Red Bank Public Library and welcome to Power Play. Today we're going to be making our own spider race game. And for this craft you're going to need two toilet paper rolls. You're going to need scissors, hole puncher, tape, string, and some color paper, preferably orange or black. Okay, let's get started. Hi, something else that you'll also need is two Ziploc bags filled with rocks or dirt or sand, something heavy. And this will help your tower to stand up. And this is your spider racer. The object of the game is to reel the spider into the top of the Halloween tower before your opponent. I'll show you how it works. Now I have to make another one so I have somebody to race against. First you're going to start with a toilet paper roll. On the bottom of the toilet paper roll you're going to cut little slits, about five, like going all the way around. After that, fold the flaps that you just created, and that will help to act as your stand for your Halloween tower. Then cover your toilet paper roll with colored paper. I'm going to use orange for this and you have to make sure you don't cover up the flaps at the bottom. I'm going to use tape to attach the colored paper to the toilet paper roll, but you can use glue if you'd like. Now I'm going to cut out some black stripes so I can decorate my Halloween tower. Then I'll attach each stripe with tape. Now I'm going to open up the bomb flaps and I'll secure it with some scotch tape to the table. Then I'll use a hole puncher to create a hole at the very top of the Halloween tower. Then I'm going to create my weights out of the two Ziploc bags filled with rocks. Then I'll add one to the front and the back. The weights don't need to be attached to the tower, it just needs to be placed right next to it. Now I'm going to create my spider racer. You're going to need two black circles for the body, so I recommend that you take one piece of paper and fold it in half. And that's how you can get two circles of the same size. You also need two smaller circles for the head. Then you need to cut out the legs of the spider. You can do this by cutting out eight thin strips of paper. Now we need our string and we're going to measure it. I'm going to wrap the string around my arm five times. One, two, three, four, and five. And then I'll cut. Now you'll need a clothespin or a popsicle stick. Even a pencil will work too. And you need to tie your string to one end. And then wrap your string all the way around and do it until you get to the very end. Then 
then when you get to the end, you're going to string it through the hole from the outside to inside and up like that. Now we're going to attach the spider's body to the string. And I'll use tape to do this. And then I want to hide the string, so this is where the second circle comes in. First I'm going to roll up a piece of tape and stick it on the body, and then I'm going to stick the other part of the circle on. And there we go, here's the spider's body. I'm going to attach the head to the body. Make sure the string goes through where the mouth would be. Then, just like you did with the body, cover the string with another circle. Now for this spider, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to give it orange eyes. So I cut eyes out of orange paper and I'm giving it pupils with Sharpie. And look, it's a nice little creepy spider. Now I'm going to attach the legs in between the two circles that make the body. There'll be four on one side and four on the other. gonna bend his legs a little bit so that when he walks it, he kind of bounces a little bit. Oh, we're ready to race. Could be racing against my sister Megan. We're making sure that our spiders are the same distance apart from our Halloween towers to make sure that it's a fair race. Now ready, set, go! We hope you enjoyed today's game. Make sure to check out all the other kids' crafts on Kids' Craft Night on Wednesdays at 6.30pm. They will be posted on Facebook and YouTube.